Hey everyone, it's Rob Fines Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at that airfield in Oklahoma, the site where a lot of the training uh, was taking place for the World War II um, military men and women. So we're hoping to find some more wheat scents like in my last video, maybe some silver coins, you name it, but wish me luck. We're gonna start digging now. Hopefully we get on some goodies. Really quickly, I'll be swinging the Garrett AT Pro today. I've got it in Pro Zero mode and I've iron discriminated out to 35. I still got to ground balance it, but I just wanted to get it all set up for you guys. Let you know what I'm swinging, what my settings are, and uh, we're gonna stick in the trees. We got a lot of rain last night, so we should have pretty good conductivity as well as pretty good shade from the sun. It's hot out today. Anyway, it's early in the morning. We're gonna start digging. Let's see what we get. I've been digging a lot of bottle caps because I really want a war nickel, but I decided to cherry pick a high tone and take a look at this. Definitely got a silver edge. Looks like it could be a mercury dime and it looks pretty slick. It is a mercury dime for sure. I don't see a mid mark. Let's just see what year it is. It's pretty slick. I can't see it. Let me just zoom in really quick. Looks like 1936. Yep, 1936, silver Merc dime. First coin dug today. We're on the board with some silver. Could be a good day. Well, I got excited because the Merc dime was dug there. And just a few feet over, I had a nice 84, 85 signal. Thought it was gonna be a silver quarter. And instead, it's a 2002 state quarter. But I'll take it because at the end of the day, it's our first quarter dug from this site, even though it's modern. All right, two coins on the board. Let's find some more. Had a nice 80, 81 signal. Thought it might be another silver Merc dime. Pretty deep in the plug. And there it is. I just popped the top of it off. And we've got a wheat scent here. Hopefully it's older. We've been finding a lot in the 40s because that's what the date of this site is. But definitely a wheat scent reverse. And let me see if I can get a date on this one for you guys. Might be able to. It's gonna be a 1954 Denver. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see it. 1954 Denver, first wheat scent of the day. A few feet away from the last wheat scent, pretty deep in the hole, about eight inches. I just wiped the back of it and saw that it said one cent. So I figured I'd bring you guys in and see if we got a date on this one as well. Oh, it looks like a nice patina. You know what? That might be a teens. Let me wipe it off really quick and bring it right back. Well, it's not a teens. That's gonna be a 1942S. I thought it said 1912 Denver at first, but the Ford looked like a one. Either way, still a nice patinaed old weed scent. Weed scent number two. That's the hole from the last weed scent. And literally just a few feet away, I went ahead and checked it already because I couldn't tell it was a weed scent because of the corrosion but I do see a 50 something with a mint mark and a wheat scent reverse. Weedy number three on the day. Man, digging's fun when you find an oldies. We got a possible coin signal here, figured I'd film it. Right there, let's dig it and see what it is. Well, we knew it was a good signal. Bottom of the hole. Very bottom, I literally just brushed the dirt away and I think I see a rosy dime and it should be silver based on the signal and the look. Look at that. Philadelphia minted, 1946, first year issue. We'll definitely take that. That still falls within the date ranges we're looking for out here. And that's a silver Roosevelt dime. Second silver on the day. Had a feeling that was gonna be a good target. Now let's find some more. Over here at the base of this tree and I have my first coin spill. The first one I pulled out was a 1961, I believe, just a memorial back, but I rechecked the hole and about a quarter of an inch away, we did have another coin. I thought it was just gonna be another memorial back as well, but I believe this one is gonna be an older wheat scent. It does say one cent on the back and uh, I think it's a 54, could be a 44 Denver, but either way, a couple of coins in the hole, both copper. And we'll take those all day as well. Had a nice signal here in the plug. It's gone now. 
Sounds like a good signal, could be silver, but uh, we gotta work our way through some pretty angry ants. Let's see if I can do this live. That's a pretty big target all of a sudden, isn't it? Oh, but there we go. Looks like it's gonna be a clad dime. Yeah, a little bit less than a silver tone. Just a clad dime. I think it's 1979 or something. Either way, we'll take it. We'll get the ants back in their hole. This is why you recheck your plugs. Still a great signal in the plug. So I guess that's why I thought it was big. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought it was big because there's more than one coin in there. There's two coins. Is it gonna be a weedy? No, Memorial back. Makes sense, probably another coin spill. Probably from the 70s. It's copper for sure, I could see by the edge. Let's see if we have anything else in the hole. I don't think so, but just in case. No. All right, back to digging. It's been a little bit since my last target, but about uh, four or five inches down in the hole. Had a pretty beat up looking weed scent. I had to scratch away where the date was. I think it's gonna be a 41 Denver. I don't know if you guys can see that, the glare of the sun, I can't see, but I think it's a 41 Denver, pretty toasty. But since it's been a while since I filmed anything, figured I'd film this one. Thought we were gonna have another weed scent, but I can already see the date. 1961 Denver. Hope to check it for that D over horizontal D variety. Now let's get back to digging. Just popped the plug. Got a nice 81 signal on there. Should have a weed scent, clad dime, or something coppery, I guess. Let's see if we can get in here and see it. Oh, there it is. What's it gonna be? Copper or a weedy? Nope, I think I saw a 64. Yep, 1964. All right, let's keep looking. Decided to get out of the trees a little bit. Got rewarded about five inches down. Rang up an 86. I was gonna film it live, but I've been digging a lot of trash. It's a clad quarter, but it's a birth year, 1974. Definitely take that. Now let's find something silvery if we could. Had a nice 86 tone about six inches down in the hole. Just another clad quarter, but take a look at it. Another 1974 birth year quarter. 25 cents adds up in a hurry if they're gonna be in the holes. All right, let's find something else now. Another hole, another 81 signal. Thought it might be a silver dime, but it's just a damaged 1980 Denver clad dime. We've got about 15 minutes left in the day and we're over here where the old military gym used to be well i guess it's still there but uh we're just gonna cursory check this area and my second target is gonna be a wheat scent i cannot make out the date for the life of me it's pretty damaged um but i can see that it says of america on the back so i know it's a wheat scent but uh good luck getting a date on it for now i'll start to see if i can get a date on the wrap up we got a weed scent over here at least. All right, we are done digging. We had a good four and a half hours yesterday and a few hours today. Today was a little bit tougher day, but we tried a new field, a couple of new fields. So we're gonna come back to them at a later date, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how much trash we dug out. You know, it always feels good pulling out the trash it means there's less high tones out there. We got some ration cans from, uh, from the at least World War II. I don't know exactly what they're called, but uh, we dug quite a few of those. We got a couple of spigots in the trash, some heavy, brass and iron pieces and a few bolts and even a 50 cal bullet but at the end of the day i've got this separated into two different piles brian was testing out a new machine he did get uh three clad dimes and four memorial backs not a lot of coins for him this time but obviously he was learning his new machine for me last time we did not get any clad quarters i got three clad quarters four clad dimes 10 memorial backs dating from 1959 all the way to 1970. A lot of 61 Ds in there. I found five wheat cents. I only can see the date on some of them. I think we had like a 46S and a few 54s and things like that. 
I did pull out two silver dimes, as you guys saw, a 1936 Philadelphia Mercury dime and a 1946 Philadelphia minted Roosevelt dime. So that's the finds of the hunt. Sorry about the glare, the light. I thought it'd be better on the coins, but it looks like it made the copper darker. But either way, this is what we got. That's the take. Hopefully you guys had a fun time watching the video. We'll be back here again, probably another month or two, and uh, we'll see if we can add to the coin collection and of course the trash collection. If you enjoyed today's metal detecting video, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy digging, and thanks for watching.